what's up y'all it took me a while to start doing these videos again because um it's just so much i don't i don't really know where to start where to end but you know um you know just trying to figure out how i'm gonna do my branding if i'm rebranding and you know all that type of stuff but um west virginia Before we get all the way into it um don't forget tap that like button you know hit that subscribe you know i'm gonna be giving you a lot of uh good content that you might be interested in um especially uh if you want to learn more about diy projects and and uh traveling to different areas and states um and so on so it's been about a little over a year now since first uh, discovering uh, West Virginia. A little inside joke, uh, not Christopher Columbus. But, you know, so far, you know, um, I, I made a couple videos about a couple different things and I've just decided that, you know, uh, through the videos and the response that I got through the videos that a lot of people, uh, I think a lot of people are just, is just interested in just moving. Like, uh, I think a lot of people just, uh, you know, um, a lot of remote work came about and people are starting to realize that they can kind of work from home. And at the same time, you know, if they can get their uh, overhead uh, costs lower, so like their rent, or if they can buy a house that's cheaper, or, you know, uh, just the general cost of living. Um, if they can live somewhere that's that's comfortable and still work, still make their money, um, and I think places like West Virginia uh, is becoming more interesting. So, like I said, this is this is a little over a year that I've been here. Um, just finally traveled to the other side of West Virginia um, to. Um, close to Kentucky actually like literally on the borderline like actually in order to get there you have to drive all the way through uh, West Virginia you pass uh, the capital uh, Charleston well uh, old Logan you pass Logan and then you go you go into Kentucky and then you come back out of Kentucky and then you go back into Kentucky and then you have to cross the bridge and you'll be back in uh, West Virginia so other than that, I mainly been, I think, uh, I'm still learning, but you know, um, the panhandles, but I think I'm in North, North Central, or I, I think that's mainly where I'm at. I'm, I'm in the Morgantown um, area. Uh, and, you know, hold on. Get cars behind you that really, I, I don't know. But anyway, so mainly that's that's where I, where I have been mainly um, starting to branch out trying to you know uh, go to other areas um, Willing seems a, a little bit interesting to me um, Charleston seems interesting to me um, because they are the bigger cities and uh, so I think if I'm not mistaken Morgantown is your biggest and then I don't know which order it goes in but Morgantown Charleston um, uh, willing you know those are your 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 uh, Berkeley uh, those are your main cities inside of uh, West Virginia if you was to ask me you know and, and I'm thinking in my mind you know if, if one of you guys was to ask me you know if you should move here uh, I guess my first I'm gonna say yes but I guess my first question would be, you know, what do you do? Like, you know, uh, how do you earn your income? Um, and not to be personal, but you know, that, that, that will help me help you make a decision on if West Virginia is the right uh, state for you or not. Um, There's a lot of ups and downs wherever you go, but um, you know, it, it took me, um, what, what's this? It's going on June. 
So it took me a little over a year to kind of try to figure out the area. Um, and mainly, you know, for, for work. And that was one of the reasons why um, we decided to move to West Virginia is because we're so close to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is, which is uh, um, a growing tech city. Um, on a, on a, I don't know if they consider, I, I'm considering them the East Coast. It's still in Pennsylvania. Uh, they might consider themselves more Midwest. Um, you know, just on the other uh, borderline of Pittsburgh, you have Ohio. Um, you go up a little bit more, you have uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, which is kind of close to Canada. It's off of Lake Erie. Um, but, you know, that's one of the reasons why um, I decided to uh, come here because worse come to worse, just like right now, I'm on the highway, I'm on my way to Pittsburgh, you know, which is about an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 30, depending on, uh, depending on, uh, where you're leaving from, um, from Morgantown is, is, is about an hour, hour, 10 minutes, something like that. So it's not a bad commute, you know, just to get on the highway and, uh, be able to go, do stuff um, as far as food their main you know every place has their thing um, Chicago is like pizza you know a Philly is cheesesteak New York is like deli you know uh, bagels you know so every every area kind of has their thing um, here in West Virginia is pepperoni rolls um, and the best way I could you know it seems like uh, some places put their own spin on it. Um, you know, uh, sometimes there are sticks. Sometimes it's like little sticks. And it looks like a little, kind of like a, I don't know, like not not like a hot, like a croissant con, con type uh, roll, kind of. You know, like a bit, like a like a biscuit or something like that. Not, you know, I, I can I'll, I'll show you eventually. Anyway. So they put they put sticks of pepperoni, or they put slices of pepperoni on the inside. Um, to be honest with you, uh, I tried it when I when I first first came. Um, I'm not a huge fan, uh, and, but like I said, they they you know probably where I tried it from probably wasn't the best ones or something like that. Um, but you know, people out here they they're like. Uh, they love pepperoni rolls. As far as the restaurants goes, um, like I said, I've mainly been in the Morgantown area, Morgantown, Clark, you know, Bridgeport, Clarksburg, Fairmont area. Um, so, you know, I really, nothing has really, that I've tried so far. Um, has really sticking out to me as like saying, you know, you know, you should travel X amount of miles to come try this type of thing. Um, nothing really stuck out, but I haven't been everywhere. Um, it's, and I can't really think right now off the top of my head, like, uh, um, any places that, that, you know, uh, I might want to try that might seem like, you know, um, you know, uh, something that that might be to brag about now pittsburgh on the other hand like i said it's very close um just a hop skipping a jump on the highway you're in pittsburgh pittsburgh has some 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 restaurants there that i that i actually want to try um and that's not saying that that west virginia doesn't it's just saying that right now my knowledge on restaurants here um so far it's nothing that really that I've tried that's that's uh stuck out to me or that that I could uh refer be able to say like you know I really want to try this spot you know after a while you know food becomes I'm not going to say boring because you know that's that's where that was that is what makes uh good chefs and good cooks it's making food different in a way that it's just not white rice and beans. You know, it's just, 
pizza and, and uh, with extra cheese or, or a cheeseburger. You know, it's just, you know, you think about food, you know, you have vegetables and, you know, it's, you know, it's about making your food interesting, you know, and, you know, like I'm saying, it's, it's a couple of places that, you know, uh, I'm thinking about, you know, as far as trying because I want to see how authentic their 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 uh, dishes are but you know nothing really majorly that that I can't say you know as far as food if you'll be I won't say you, you'll you'll be disappointed a lot but but if you're from a big big city um, moving out here then you know you you know you tend to don't get what you're used to um, as far as the same quality, and you gotta expect that, you know, nobody, um, you know, unless it's people that's actually, um, and then you got you have to think about products, you know, how are they going to get their products shipped so far away? So things things like that um, is what makes a difference in taste and uh, quality of food um, when you're traveling. People, the people here are very friendly for the most part um, I've said this before this is where I think uh, Father's Day came from or they started they were, they were the first state to start Father's Day or Mother's Day also I'm not, I'm not don't quote me on that um, do, do your research but uh, I'm pretty sure it was, I'm pretty sure it's Father's Day uh, actually was uh, originated in uh, West Virginia so for the most part people are pretty friendly um, no matter where you go, you have your hateful people, um, and your undercover hateful people. And I say that because a lot, I respect people more if they, if they tell you to your face flat out, they don't like you just because, um, I can, I can accept that, uh, more than, and respect that more than, you know, uh, somebody smiling in your face and, and you know uh, uh, behind your back but like I said that's that's just about anywhere you're not you're not really going to get away from that um, you know a lot of small towns um, and rural areas um, I don't know it depends on you uh, how comfortable or how uncomfortable you'll be if it's your first time moving like outside the city um, you just gotta you know things change a lot and more and more places uh, are becoming more diverse so you know uh, as far as West Virginia goes um, so far not not so bad Morgantown like I said is, is a uh, college town so if you're thinking about going to WVU, uh, West Virginia University, um, you know, and you're coming from, wherever you're coming from, um, you know, you just, I guess your concentration level will be a little bit better here because, because it's not, it's not a lot of things that, you know, uh, you know, majority of the town are students. You know, when when the students leave, like uh, the town kind of panics. You know, businesses they panic uh, because you know they look at you know it's kind of like tourists. You know, I keep saying that it's like kind of like uh, you know if you have a business like in a tourist area, you know when tourist season come, you know that's when you're gonna make a uh, majority of your money, and when the tourists go back home. You know, for an example, that you know your money is going to be a little slower. Um, but as far as as far as crime and stuff goes, um, to my knowledge, it is you know, um, it's, it's not a lot of it's not a lot of major crime, I should say, to my knowledge. Um, on the opposite uh, side of that, it seems like um, some people that I spoke to, it seems like. Um, if you do wind up in trouble some kind of way out, out here in uh, West Virginia, 
it seems like uh, uh, it's more federal indictments going on um, than anything. So, and you can kind of understand why um, West Virginia state is squeezed in between Ohio. I mean, the borders is Ohio, Kentucky, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Maryland. And uh, I don't know if I'm missing one or not, but um, well, those are the ones to my knowledge right now that I know. Kentucky, Ohio, um, uh, Pennsylvania, and Maryland. So, I mean, and the state is very small. So, you know, it took me, um, what was it? Three and a half hours, three and a half hours to drive pretty much all the way to the opposite side of the state. So that tells you how big the state is. Now, the other cities that I haven't uh, went to yet to go check out, but we will, um, that's pretty close, is Cincinnati, uh, Cleveland, Youngstown, and I wasn't too, I'm not too sure about the, you know, what's the closest, biggest city in, um, in, um, in Kentucky, so... I have to I have to do some more research on that to see how far away um, that might be. But uh, on the opposite side, like I said, you have uh, in Pennsylvania, you have Pittsburgh. That's the second biggest city in, in uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, Maryland, you're not too far from Baltimore, and and actually uh, not too far from DC. Um, so you know I've, I've been both of those places a lot of times but we'll take you we'll take you one day just follow me and we'll see as far as schools and stuff goes uh for like small kids you know uh, kindergarten through high school i'm not quite sure i can't i can't really speak right now on the education although i can say um where we live currently there's been an issue with uh, uh, bed bugs and um, kids getting sick in the elementary schools. So um, I haven't enrolled uh, the little ones just yet. Um, you know, it's a shame because you know I feel like uh, I feel like uh, they're missing out a little bit. You know, especially. Uh, the main part, it seems like it's going to be uh, throughout the rest of the time, I guess. Uh, the, the, the main thing about um, school, other than the education, is part of the education is, uh, you know, social um, interactions physically, you know, um, because nowadays we have all the you know kids can talk online but it's not the same it's, it's not the same as you know being able to you know play a game of basketball or something like that you know yeah you could do it online but you know it's, it's just not the same as you dribbling the ball and you know shooting the ball you know getting hand hand feet coordination going on you know so i mean you know uh, that's that's one of the things that uh, that uh, like I said I can't really speak on if the schools are good or not good at this point. You know, the more you follow me, the more we'll we'll figure that out, and the more I'll let you know uh, my opinion on um, the school school situation. As far as gun laws, um, Second Amendment. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, West Virginia is a pretty um, uh, laid back state when it comes to comes to gun laws. Um, they're one of the states that um, are all about Second Amendment rights. Um, so as far as that goes, if you're the type of person who likes to uh, uh, just be prepared, um, without 
without a lot of headache, without a, a lot of uh, red tape. Um, just, you know, to protect, your, protect your, your, yourself and your family. If you're one of those type of persons that uh, believe that, you know, um, uh, you have the right to bear arms, then West Virginia is definitely one of those states for you. Uh, West Virginia, um, it's one of the things that I like, um, you know, uh, other other states, you know, is a long drawn out. It, other states is it, they, they actually have like self defense and uh, West Virginia. So in other states, you have to go through a whole, you know, you have to prove that that uh, that it was uh, more so self defense, and uh, it gets a little awkward. It seems like you know, even though you know it's common sense, common sense, you know, case, you know, somebody broke inside your house you shot them they ended up dead but then you still you know some states you're still going to jail until until you until it's proven that by you shooting them inside your house that they broke in with the glass still on the floor that it was self-defense uh west virginia is more like you know um it's common sense uh you crawl through a window, you broke the glass, or you kicked the door down, or whatever happened, you was on somebody's property, and, you know, uh, the property owner or, or the person living at the property um, felt threatened and for their life, and they defended themselves, and that's just that, you know, um, and that's one of, that's one of the things that uh, I kind of like about uh, West Virginia is that, you know, you don't you know, it's, I can't really say if it's a good or bad thing. Hopefully, um, nothing like that ever happens. But, you know, it's a little bit more comfort for the mind um, knowing that if something like that was to happen, that uh, you is a high probability that you, you may not be in trouble if it's self-defense. Speaking of that, uh, right now, I don't know, it's about, probably about a week, um, a week ago or so, a week or two ago, a couple different incidents. Um, you had the 18 people uh, in the school, something like that. And then you had, and then you just had the, the, the guy, the racist guy who, who uh, shot 12 people and uh supermarket and now you have you know I, i've been as you could probably tell i haven't been trying to i haven't been paying attention i haven't been trying to pay attention to to that stuff because at the end of the day um it's a big fight right now about second amendment rights you know and and it's like it's like I want you to pay attention because every time and now we get political but it's the truth every time Democrats every time we have a Democratic uh, president it's all about take away guns it's all about you know uh, uh, how can we how can we um, enforce um, how can we keep slaves pretty much and I know that's a bold statement but that's pretty much what it is so you have the Republicans on one end you know uh, you know people say like uh, they didn't like Trump whatever right um, but you have Republicans on one end they're like it, it's just that they both both parties give and take, you know, both parties give and take, you know, um, and it's, and it's about, and it's about, um, you know, Republicans mainly cater to the, to the, to, you know, and I'm lost for words because it's, it's a little bit more complicated, but Republicans are more for the rich still 
they give more benefits to the rich still. Um, honestly, when you really, really think about it, you know, the Democrats are supposed to be for the poor, but see, they'll give you, they'll give you a food stamp card, right? Make you take a job working for somebody else, right? Uh, make you go through all these loop, loop, you know, jump up and down on one foot, bark, bark like a dog for this, for this loan or for this grant, right? And at the same time, on the flip side of that coin, they they always come up with some some something else to keep people incarcerated or keep people in debt, you know, um, for a longer time. And to be honest, I haven't really, you know, most of my life. My family has been democratic most of my life. And uh, I can't really say as far as the Republican. I just know that they, Republicans tend to, Republican presidents, I should say, or when the, when the, uh, when the government is controlled more by Republicans, you see a lot of, you see a lot of bigger company, that's their, you know, and, and and that's why that's why I say when other, my my definition is give to the rich is a little bit different from the normal definition because what the Republicans do is the same as uh, they'll they'll you know uh, wealthy people will donate a million dollars and I'm gonna say it to like a, a, a United Way or something like that. And it's supposed to be um, distributed um, or to give back uh, to low-income individuals. And we all know, we all know, well, not all of us, but most of us know that that's, that's been in a low-income situation that that never happens the way it's supposed to happen. So... For the bigger companies, is a right is a tax write off, right? Um, they they whatever they donated, they write it off as a tax write off. That's how that's why, you know, uh, a lot of people that's that's wealthy don't have to pay taxes because they donate a lot of money to big charities, right? Big big organizations, five hundred one c threes want to be as that but do the but do the people that the that the donations is actually for you know, it gets watered down after after this uh, president of this this chapter uh, took his salary bonus you know uh, the workers take their bonus right and there's nothing wrong with that people need to be paid to work but that system is broken. 